this R. Um, today we have a special guest. This is my grandmother, Terry Gay, and she wanted to help do the next project, which we're gonna do collagraphs. So a collagraph is, um, you can use a cardboard, cereal boxes, um, any type of food box. Um, today I'm gonna use cardboard or um, paper plates, and we also have paper bags. So what we're gonna do is make prints out of our collagraph that we make. So um, the theme for this collagraph will be, since Mother's Day is coming up and it's springtime, we're gonna do flowers. So um, this would be really great if you wanna make your mom a Mother's Day card, your grandparents, grandmothers, aunts, anybody. So um, we're gonna make flowers, we're gonna cut out our flower designs, then we're going to glue them all together. We need to find some scissors, some kitchen scissors, and either a paper plate, um, cardboard from cardboard boxes, or um, like paper bags, or if you have, like I said, pizza boxes, or any type of food boxes, you can use that. Okay, so we both created our designs. Um, pizza used paper plates and I used cardboard so these are two different example options. The next thing we're going to do is glue everything down. So we're going to use this acid free yes paste but I'm sure none of you have this um, so you can use any type of glue if you made the puffy paint. I'm sure you can use that as an adhesive. Um, so yeah. Once this is dry, um, you can do your print. So what you're gonna do is set a piece of paper on top. It can be printer paper, any kind of paper you can use. And you're gonna, if you have crayons, you can peel them so it's much easier. Then you just kind of try to find the shapes. And if you want to tape down, of paper that could be smart so that it doesn't move around too much. Okay, so now you should have let this dry and you're going to get a piece of paper to put on top, a crayon, and you're going to start rubbing all over to try to have those shapes come out. Mine's cardboard, so we're gonna see. How this works. Right to break a line. If you want to get a smoother surface. Yes, so you can break them in half. Mix colors, whichever. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this project today. Um, totally great to do cards for your moms. Happy Mother's Day. All you have to do is write on it in Sharpie or in crayon or a pencil, whichever. So you have an, a card ready to go for Mother's Day and you get to have fun while creating it. Can't wait to see everyone's designs.